One of the first places to confirm the earthquake was the Weston Observatory. The Boston College Research Center has an around the clock watch for earthquakes. WBZ's Logan Hall spoke with the center's senior research scientist and others who felt that jolt. So this is a once in five year earthquake. This is what seismic activity looked like during the magnitude 3.8 earthquake. Professor John Ebel at the Boston College Weston Observatory is diving into the data and says it's a big quake felt all over New England. And it's a, it's a good strong shake. It will scare people, uh, but it's below the threshold for damage. Damage starts around magnitude 5.0 or so, maybe 4.8 in some circumstances. So we're in order, order of magnitude below that, but it still can shake for maybe 20 or 30 seconds in, in places and really scare people. Social media is buzzing with everyone asking the same question. Did you feel it? Professor Ebel says it was likely felt far from the epicenter in York, Maine. It was felt uh, southern Maine, felt through the southeastern part of New Hampshire, eastern Massachusetts, down probably close to the south shore. Christina Garcia is a school teacher and was in the middle of class when the earthquake hit. I was in the middle of teaching a lesson um, and I noticed the Eno board shaking just a little bit and it probably lasted a few seconds. Um, and then I didn't think anything of it until I started to feel the floor move a little bit. Amesbury local Audrey Proctor was one of many other people to feel the earthquake. And I checked outside to see if there was any truck rumbling by and there wasn't. So I hollered downstairs to my husband. I said, earthquake? He said, I think so. Audrey says that's when she felt her home start to shake. It was it was quite a rumble for felt. Thankful that in the end it was just a bit of shaking and that her property wasn't severely damaged. So Professor Ebel tells us that aftershocks are expected in the area over the next several days. The majority of those will go unnoticed by the public, but there will be some inching up to that 3.0 magnitude that will be felt across the region. For now in Weston, Logan Hall, WBZ News. Now, if you have some damage from today's earthquake, you may be wondering if your standard homeowner's insurance policy is going to cover that. And unfortunately, the answer is probably no. Most homeowners in Massachusetts do not have earthquake coverage. In order to obtain earthquake coverage, they have to go to their agent or directly to the carrier and ask them to add it by endorsement. Earthquake coverage is available in Massachusetts. It's relatively inexpensive because of the fact that we don't have too many earthquakes. Now, that agent, Tom Skelly, estimates less than 10% of his clients have coverage, but it pays to double check with your agent to see exactly what your policy covers.